Hi, you're watching Daily One Update for Friday, October 8th, 2010. My name is Tina Sanchez. Scott Sharkey. I'm talking super fast because this whole week has been caffeine driven for me and I don't think I can live much longer. Oh, well, I'm so sad now. Anyway. Uh, tell me a story. I'll tell you a story. S some, something to cheer you up. Yeah. Um, I don't know how many of you guys actually watch Fox News, but uh, may maybe you should have earlier. Mm -hmm. this, this was great. Um, they had an interview with uh, Peter Moore from mm -hmm. EA, uh, EA Sports' head honcho, oh, about nice. uh, NBA Jam, uh -huh. um, which, you know, we just found out as Barack Obama and John McCain and Sarah Palin, for some reason, in it as, as playable characters. And uh, Jenna Lee, in the course of the interview, asking a, a cutting question, uh -huh. um, is the game bipartisan? Because uh, in in her in the dulcet tones of her fingernails on the blackboard <laughs> voice, asking uh, yeah that she uh, she read that the president has some special moves and uh, maybe that's not fair. Um, is this a bipartisan game though, Peter? Because I read the president has some special skills. Do any of the Republicans well, have any special skills, you know, Peter? You know what, Jenna? We, we try and be uh, nonpartisan in what we do, uh, but at the same time, the president, who, as you know, is a pretty good hoops player himself, True. Uh, we try to represent his skills there. So the president <laughs> does have some special skills. Anyway, yeah, so uh, apparently uh, Barack Obama shouldn't play very good basketball in comparison to everybody else, I guess, even though he actually is you know, younger he than 90 and life. does play basketball. There's photos of and, him. And I don't know, they let Sarah Palin in the game, and it's a men's league, so... I don't know. That sounds pretty fair and balanced to me. Anyway, that made my morning. Also, uh, <laughs> apparently uh, Gearbox is working with retailers to uh, attempt to honor Duke Nukem pre-orders. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, Randy Pitchford was talking about it, saying, yeah, he's, he's trying to talk to retailers because um, they, they didn't, uh, Gearbox or 3D Realms didn't take those pre-orders. It was the retailers that did it. And uh, saying, you've got customers you made a promise to. Uh, any bad feeling they have will reflect on us. So let's see what we can do for people. Um, he doesn't know if this is going to work, but he's doing his best. So if you have a 12-year-old receipt in your wallet or wherever, oh, and it hasn't like faded completely yet, um, <laughs> small chance maybe you can actually uh, still still redeem that. You know, now Holy that now that hell. you're but much older and maybe haven't died of old age or something. Oh my gosh! All right. Well, that's sweet of them, but how many? I think a lot of these are... retailers aren't even in existence anymore. It's yeah. going to be fun. How realistically do you think people are out there? Like, oh my god. I could finally, yeah, take this thing out of this picture frame and bring it in. I don't know. I think I'd hang on to the receipt, honestly. Kind of like that hot coffee check you get. You're never going to cash it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> frame that thing. All right. Also, um, oh, going in, on? in less uplifting news, uh, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. Um, that's the, uh, the, the Zerg campaign that you know launched with the Terran campaign, and they're breaking it up into three, is apparently 18 months away. Um, I don't think, I think this was a slip, actually. This is at the Austin GDC. Uh, uh, Battle.net project director, uh, Greg Canassa, um, in addition to talking about new fe features of the network and, and stuff, uh, said that uh, the main area of focus we're, that we're going to be seeing on the StarCraft II side over the next 18 months between now and Heart of the Swarm. So that seems pretty unambiguous. I mean, they haven't actually announced when that's wow. going to come out. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like a year and a half. So it's uh, going to be a long wait. People waited 10 years for StarCraft For Duke II. Nukem. <laughs> oh. Oh, or, or StarCraft II. But, yeah, I mean, this is something where it's like, oh, we're going to get this game in three pieces, but this, they're going to be very broken up. So it's a race between this and uh, Half-Life Episode 3. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will come up before Half-Life for some reason. We'll see. I don't know. We can, start, we can start taking bets. Do you know something I don't? I might. Was it like the Hope uh, Pope pool? I'm just making Bob shit Pope up. I have no idea. The Pope, do you remember that? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you have a story <laughs> to read. I think you're delirious. <laughs> I am having so much fun today. Okay, so while I was, you know, going crazy, writing and not sleeping and stuff, uh, Silicon Knights is developing Activision's X-Men Destiny game. And it's set awesome. Is there a set date yet? I don't think so. Uh, no, not yet, and yeah. they haven't really talked about it much, but uh, we haven't heard anything from Silicon Knights since uh, since Two Human came out, and that was like in 2008, so this promising. is apparently what they've been up to. Very promising. Yeah, I, I mean, think. Two Human didn't do so good, but I, I do still have some confidence in Silicon Knights, and actually they laid off a bunch of people after that because well, no, they didn't work they, out so well, but then no, they rehired a bunch more. No, not that much. They temporarily laid off 26 people in 2008, and then they hired 65 new people thanks to oh, the Canadian well, I guess that's grant a net that game. they got. Yeah. You know, for development. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Canadian government yeah. gives uh, game developers grants. It's awesome. There's actually that. a trailer out there. It's just like silhouettes going by and stuff saying, you know, like, oh my God. Yeah, so you can probably you know. recognize some of the mutants. I mean, obviously, there's going to be Wolverine in there. And anybody that has this thing going on is yeah, probably. Yeah, but uh, he's. I don't believe that he's going to be one of the main playable characters, though, for some reason, yeah. because at the very end, you know, when they say, like, only you can 
help Destiny or whatever. Oh, you dramatic... think it's going to be like one of those, make a self-insertion character kind of thing? I think so, but they showed three characters. It was like two dudes and then one girl with a scarf. You know, they're oh. just silhouettes though. Okay, so maybe so. maybe it's a make your character sort So of I was freaking cool. out after I watched it today. I was like, oh God, I hope it's not Jubilee. Like, oh God. <laughs> Let me heat up your coffee for you with oh, my fireworks. Yeah, no, well, that's I useful, know. I guess. You make an excellent intern. But there's also... But I'm hoping it'll be like X-Men, yeah. the legacy of Mary Sue or something. Oh, no, no, please, no. It's called X-Men Destiny, so... Oh, okay. Um, actually, our old co-worker, Chris... Or not Chris, what am I saying? Alan Johnson yep. was saying that he thinks it might be... Uh, if it takes place in like the current Marvel Universe with X-Men, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of X-Men that aren't X-Men anymore because they got their powers taken away for whatever reason. There's only 200 left, so... Jubilee isn't one of them, so... That's oh, well, that's a relief, yeah. I suppose. He reads the comics a lot. So. <sighs> Apparently. Also... <laughs> Lord of the Rings Online free-to-play jumps double... Jump doubles revenue. Yes, jumping to free-to-play doubled its revenue. Yes. Is what I read that, that was. wrong. Yeah. So, okay. um, <laughs> Lord of the Rings recently went free to play um, with Yay. you know microtransaction Yay. stuff in the game, and yeah, apparently they, they ma they're making twice as much from it now. They have uh, more than a million new accounts, and uh, peak concurrency, which is the number mm -hmm. of people logged in at the same time, is uh, is increased three hundred percent. Yeah, they said so. twenty percent of the game's former players have returned to play since the transition, and then. Uh, more than half of the players, or 53%, specifically have bought uh, something from the microtransaction yeah. store. More than half the people playing right now have been actually using the microtrans store. Yeah. So that's really great. I'm so glad this worked out for them. I still got to make my character. What's your character? I don't know yet, you know, but I totally think that I'd be best friends with uh, Gandalf. I don't know why he'd be, like, my best friend. I think it's because he has magical powers and he's like really tall and for some reason, you know, standing next to a really tall person and he has to like... Yeah, I think you need to go get midget, some sleep. You know? Like, maybe he could help me grow. Is that a power that he has? I'm not really sure. I think you need to play as Gollum at this point. No, no, no. He's, yeah. he's too... What's uh, taters, Precious? He's too violent. What's taters? I don't know. But then again, I don't want to be a, like a Samwise character where it's all about like, you know, finding yourself. <laughs> Your self-esteem instead of actually like finding some shit. Now nah, I'm, I'm not about that. You know? Or, oh god, like climbing tree beard would be so much fun with your friends, you know? Just like trying to get to the top. Potatoes. Taters. What's taters on? Taters.